What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to the Berserk manga. This time I'll be reacting to volume 12, chapters 1 and 2, uh, whatever they're called. Um, yeah, looking like the artwork is gonna, it looks like we're gonna um, be getting into the eclipse in today's, vol well maybe not in today's uh, kind of reaction, but um, in this volume at some point, probably towards the back end I do imagine, um, we'll be uh, kind of reaching the eclipse. I think this might be just a, a kind of prelude to what's to come to be honest. Again, I feel like there might be a little bit of content that we might have missed out on even before uh, even after sorry the mad dog um kind of story or the devil dog story i should say i don't know why i keep calling them mad dogs um but yeah the uh, the devil dogs story that we uh, covered in the last volume which was actually really good probably again some of my favorite antagonists as of yet um but again this artwork is really fucking awesome isn't it uh femto being kind of hatched from the the egg of the king the behelot it's funny we didn't ever really get any imagery like this, but it's, that, it's actually quite the uh, the obvious thing to do, isn't it? Kind of hatching from the uh, the egg of the king. Surprised again we didn't actually get like a uh, an artwork like this in the anime or movie, but really awesome, isn't it? I saw on Twitter the other day uh, some guy found a behelot in the in the toilet somewhere. Be, uh, quite the scary situation but um do let me know what you guys think about these chapters down in the comment section uh make sure to leave a like on this video if you guys did enjoy this reading and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date um again just uh admire the artwork a little bit more it really does kind of almost look like a bird doesn't it here griffith i mean it's obviously based on the hawk anyway but but in terms of like the weathers uh the wings sorry the weathers the wings looking like they have feathers on them and such the again just the natural kind of imagery to use really love this little cracked eye here as well but yeah let's have a look at the chapters we've got in today's reaction and what we've got to come as well oh we've already got a bit of nudity <laughs> uh, i'll just cover that with my cursor so here's the uh the four members of the god hand we have seen these guys before haven't we sir that's another interesting thing that they actually kind of showed you quite a lot of what is to come at the start of the manga here. The eclipse behind them. Again, these two on the left are just so similar. I, I, I think I prefer the one on the top left. He's got a bit more of a personality, but in design wise, they're very similar, aren't they? Whereas, in comparison to everyone else, they're really different. Quite, uh, quite the interesting design change there. Not many, not as many, not as many chapters in today's one, I don't believe. There's 10 chapters, I think. So it should be, uh, should be nice. And it actually does look like we are getting to the Eclipse reasonably early. Uh, chapter 4 of this one. Um, but yeah, it looks like... Well, the chapters are reasonably the same, same length, actually, so... Not sure why that is, to be honest. Either way, uh, we're actually uh, a lot closer to the eclipse than I thought, to be honest. Requiem of Wind. Yeah, today we'll be doing Requiem of Wind and the Warrior of Twilight. Midland border region. No, oh, not much to look at here. <laughs> nice, uh, some nice scenery, but just a bunch of rocks and grass. Trousers look really nice, I don't know. What is this FX stuff? Are, are these like done by someone else? Yo. I've got no idea. Oh. <laughs> Man, I really thought... I really I really thought Pippin was sitting on his axe. <laughs> Just like like a monk. Almost like floating in the air. Kind of looks from it. Like, it looks like that from far away. It looks like casky has got a message for everyone. Lots of injured men. I 
Perhaps having a little think about Griffith. Hey, was that serious? It wasn't bull, was it? It was bull, wasn't it? What that monkey monster was saying. What is this FX hue stuff? Oh, is that sound effect? See, I usually you put that with special effects, but I guess that's sound effects. Yeah, yeah, that is the case. That's interesting that they've actually put kind of subtitles for the sound effects now. What was that last twelve volumes? Not that it really matters that much. Again, most of the time I'm able to kind of read it anyway. Screw this. Fine, I'll ask him myself. Forget it. Griffith's not able to answer you. Yeah, that's a thing now as well, isn't it? They've all kind of got an inkling that Griffith has this kind of destiny or kind of c companionship. Like, yeah, it's not companionship, but kind of like a, a mutual respect between him and the monsters. So that is quite the big difference with the mindsets of all these people right now. Obviously, that's very much on their mind as it just happened. Hey. Uh, that's a joke, right? Like his throat's just rough from living in prison, so. Yeah, his throat's just a bit rough. He just didn't drink enough water. Ugh, what the hell? Weren't we gonna start again here? Huh? After Griffith came back. Weren't we going to start over? All of a sudden, we were framed as outlaws, running around in the woods for, uh, for a year like bugs. More than half of us have been killed. But still, still as long as Griffith came back to us, after believing that, now this? Huh. <laughs> that is, uh, cutting up a rock. Well, he's, uh, he's just fucked up his own sword right there. It just flings by guts. <laughs> Didn't I call it? I knew it. I knew it. I knew something like this would happen. So, now. Now. It's. Damn. You really get an even better look at just how much these guys are affected. Look at Pippin's poor little face, man. Never seen him look like that. Dad looking pissed. Getting Fucking Caucus just looking like a crazy man. Look at the look at the expressions he's made in both of these two two uh, panels here. Looks like a crazy man. Looks like he's yeah. I really see the effect it has had. The despair. Look at the pained expressions of these guys earlier on as well. Looking up to the skies. Casca as well. It's. This is. Everyone knew how that ended. But not a man could bring himself to say it. It's over. Done. You wasted your year. You wasted your efforts in saving him. In fact, you've actually done all this to the extent to exterminate yourselves. If you don't even know. It's even more sad. The only wind announced the end of the fight. Only the wind announced the end of the fight. That breeze. Damn, that paints a picture really well, doesn't it? Just the, the wind said it all. Just blew right past you.
What do we do? From here on, all of us, what do we do? Uh, it's, it's not like the Band of the Hawks been wiped out. We have you, Commander Casca. Griffith made the Band of the Hawks. Everyone should realise that. If you're still here, all the more. But to that end, the one who's given the most this year is Casca. Don't, uh, don't ask even more of her. Now. But in that case, we... Shuff. Give me some more time. There's still time until we join up with the other unit. Let me think about this until then. Hey. Hey, wait up. What do you uh, what do you plan to do once you're done talk thinking, sorry? Don't tell me you. What were you about to tell them back there? Hey. To finish the battles that you start? Pretty strong, aren't you? Since you started the battle, I guess it's not something you can give up on. But can you say such things to Griffith the way he is now? Everyone's weak, and so they rely on the dreams of other people. On dreams and other people, I should say. I wonder what you can do for someone who's lost what they rely on. Kind words, stern rebukes. I wanted someone to be near me. Down there, right in view of Griffith yet again. Seems like he always catches them at the worst time, <laughs> doesn't he? Well, not even, well, it really is a bad time right now, but it's not like these are bad times, these are actually quite cute moments, but obviously bad timing for Griffith. I don't think he wants to see this. Because maybe he wanted to do that to Guts, perhaps. Again, we've kind of got a little bit of subtext of that, potentially earlier on in the series, which might be the case. Again, it's very much up to viewer interpretation. I'm going to check on Griffith. Griffith? Let's change those bandages. Someone near me. That was a really short chapter, wasn't it? Like that felt even shorter than usual. I don't think it's because not actually all that much happened. It was a lot of heavy dialogue, wasn't it? There wasn't even that much dialogue, to be honest. <laughs> it was quite a lot of silent moments as well. Maybe that's why. But everyone needs a bit of a shoulder to rest their head on every now and then, don't they? Fortunately, that shoulder's now been taken from uh, a lot of these, a lot of these boys. But the sad farewell, isn't it, to the band right here? Again, these expressions right here. I love this. I uh, love this panels. And we're just knowing it's just it's done. It's over. All this time. All this work. All the effort, the heights they reached. And they're back to square one. Yeah, that felt really damn short. But uh, we'll get into the uh, the next and the last one, the warrior, the warriors of twilight. Oh, that's a really cute shot right there, isn't it? Oh, 
targums. Where is the sound effect that says targum? Out there. I didn't know his hands were this small. He tried to grasp everything with these hands. Look at his little toes. <laughs> Bloody hell. He does look like a very like strange creature. It's hard to like see that as like an actual human, isn't it? That's just the extent to the brutality he's he faced. Just by placing them on my shoulder, he could somehow ease my trembling. Time after time, they would erase my anxiety. Young Casca right there. Whoops. Huh? Like Griffith's maybe trying to say something? Now it's my turn to be the one to do that. Yet. Look at those eyes. Piercing stare again. Ow! Sorry, I'll go get another blanket. I think we can see his uh, poten potential jealousy in that scene earlier on kind of come to light right here. But not sure if he like wanted to attack her. <laughs> like, looking in his eyes probably told me that he kind of wanted to attack her potentially. Not really sure. That's amazing. But with, again, the matter he got fucked up, he could actually move like that. Griffith. Griffith, stop. She then embraces him. Bloody hell. I think as much as that was a very weird thing that happened right there. I kind of respect Casca for kind of helping him out there. Again, you can just see, I think in this shot especially, just the... Just makes you think back, doesn't it, to who he was before. And just imagine if this happened to you, you really would be like... You wouldn't be you anymore. At all. Sad to think about, isn't it? Well, that is not Griffith right there. That is the shell of Griffith. That is the uh, the husk. It's amazing that you could like do this to someone, keep them alive, torture them this much to this degree that again they're just not re not really even a person anymore. Almost a bit of like an an animal object, so I kind of respect Casca. As, as weird as this was from Griffith, it almost kind of reminds me of when he went to Charlotte's room a little bit. Um, yeah, as weird as this was, I kind of you know appreciate that she kind of embraced him here because it might be one of the first times he's actually maybe felt like a human after afterwards. Man oh man, this has turned into a real mess. Yeah. Good dreams, bad dreams. It's still unfortunate to wake up in the middle of one. 
Damn. So, what are you going to do now? Go back to training? You? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Guess I'll invite you who's left to start a thieves group. That way, at least we can look after Griffith. Nice to do. Respectful of you. In that case, me too. You've already separated yourself. There's no obligation for you to go that far, is there? One? For you? There is. I'm still a hawk. But you're different. You've already started your own battle. Those who can't stand get left behind. Isn't that the ironclad rule of the, ba of the battlefield? Otherwise, you can't survive. But that, that's that. Over there. You should take Casca with you this time. Did that understand, doesn't he? He's way too serious to lead the thieves. Happy go lucky's the way of a thief. I couldn't stand the one so stiff shouldered. Take her with you. Even if you have to drag her this time. If you don't, she okay, she would just be spoiled with Griffith, won't she? When I say spoiled, I mean she would just look after her, him the rest of her life, I imagine. That wasn't the case. Jadal? Captain Guts! Captain Guts! What's up, guys? You need to see something. Captain, are you planning to run off al alone again like before? Huh? Oh, I forget this guy's name, but he's like our main guy, isn't he? <laughs> like Vernon or something. Again, that's definitely not his name, but apologies. Yeah, that's like our main guy, and this is the rest of our squad, it looks like. If you do... Oh, I remembered it for a second there, and then I lost it again. Please let us go with you, Captain. You guys. All of us raiders have decided. Not one of us is against it. That's right. We can all still fight. We raiders are the toughest in the band of the Hawk. We'll be mercenaries or whatever, as long as our captain's with us. Captain! Captain Guts! Please! Gaston, that's the one. Gaston, your clothing shop? The proclamation's all over, Wyndham. It's out of the question. Besides, these guys are like your family to me now. I can't leave them. And, as long as you're with us, we'll figure something out. I'm sure you'll find it here. The place where you belong. The place I belong. Maybe it did exist. I was too stupid and stubborn to notice it. But what I really wished for back then was here. Back then. It sure was, my dude. It sure was. Everything was here for you. Sometimes you do need to get away to find it out though, don't you? Why do I always see these things? After they're done and gone. It's like Casca's heart's beating very fast. Hey. G Guts? That was Griffith. Y yeah, he just fell asleep. Something wrong? What? Like, like what? Nothing really. As a tear streams down her face. Hey, what's wrong? What happened? You're wrong, it's nothing. So, so you're crying over nothing? Something happened with Griffith? No. It's 
just the mood at the minute, but my dude, that's just the mood at the minute. Stop it! That's not it! But, hey. Sorry. I can't go. Hey? Oh, that's what she's thinking about here. She can't go off of guts by herself. I can't go with you. Griffith, he's so small now, so fragile. In his cocoon state. That proud Griffith is so... I can't leave him. There's no way. I can leave Griffith. I can't... Sorry? Yeah, I can leave Griffith like that. That meant it. I can't leave Griffith like that. I think that's meant to say. I'm sorry. Sorry. Me too. I'll still. She stops him there. Griffith again. Get and look at this. Of course. You won't hang, sorry. Apologies, guys. Oh, God. You won't hang from anyone's dream. You fight your own battles, right? Do you still remember that night at Primrose Hall? Yeah. Someone who would never defend upon another's, depend upon another's dream. Someone who wouldn't be compelled by anyone but would determine and pursue his own reason to live. And look at the sadness on Casca's face in the middle right there. And should anyone trample that dream, he would oppose him body and soul. If I were to... And if the threat were me myself, that is what I would think as a friend. Sorry, <laughs> I just read that absolutely terribly. And should anyone trample that dream, he would oppose him body and soul. Even if the threat were me myself. That is what I think a friend is. You have to go. Friend and equal. You have to. If you're Griffiths, friend and equal. You have to. <laughs> well, he's absolutely missed that on the top there. Even if it's alone, you have to go. Why do I always see these things after they're done and gone? Warriors of Twilight. That was a really good uh, chapter right there, wasn't it? Again, very sad couple chapters right here. Very sad couple chapters, to be honest. Again, very much just a, a kind of depression the whole and the whole place, isn't there? Which is understandable. Yeah, some very interesting dialogue. Again, uh, most of the sadness between Guts and Casca, of course, and their they're kind of decision making, looking after Griffith, is not able to do anything. Of course, this is kind of all for now, as we uh, as we know. A um, lot, lot of them haven't got a future to actually think about, so a lot of them are kind of getting depressed for no reason right now. But again, they have they know no better. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought about these chapters down in the comment section. Um, again, not not the best chapters ever. Actually, kind of um, I, I like a lot of the dialogue, and it was it's kind of obviously setting up for the uh, the clips and such, and um, just showing up, giving us a good look at a lot of. Uh, a lot of the band's thought processes and they're kind of depressing at the minute but um in uh, in general i think these kind of progression chapters aren't they these are um the chapters in between uh the devil dogs and the, and the eclipse which is going to be coming up in the uh, next reaction i believe so um absolutely can't wait for that do let me know what you guys think about these uh, chapters down in the comments though let me know if you guys have got quite a lot of insight out of these uh, chapters um do leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions i'll be back on friday with uh chapters um something and the eclipse so hopefully you join me then enjoy the rest of your day